Here is the last of the five different types of cases that we might run into when we try to do partial fractions on something that looks like this. In this case, you should have noticed that the exponent on the x here in the first term is to the fourth power. Here is to the third power. That means the order in the numerator is larger than the order in the denominator, which means we probably want to do long division first. So here it is. Here's the numerator, here's the denominator, we're going to apply long division. Okay, so how many times does x cubed fit into 2x to the fourth? Well, that looks like, uh, how about 2x uh, times, it goes 2x times x cubed gives me 2x to the fourth. And 2x times 4x squared gives me plus 8x cubed. 2x times x gives me plus 2x squared. And 2x times a minus 6 gives me a minus 12x. If I then subtract uh, the second row from the first row, I get 0 plus 0 plus 0. This minus this gives me plus 13x, and minus 5 remains. All right, so that would be the remainder of this division. Notice I took an easy case just to show you, just to illustrate you, which means that this fraction can now be written as uh, the 2x plus the remainder 13x minus 5 divided by the denominator x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. So that would be easier to integrate because now we can integrate 2x, which is easy, and now we can integrate this portion right there. But then you wait, say, well, wait a minute. I still don't know how to integrate this. So now you'll have to use partial fraction techniques on something like that. Now you look at the denominator and go, well, it's not factored yet. Are we able to factor that denominator? So what you need to do here, since this is x to the third power, so this is a cubic equation, it's not as easy to factor it, so you may want to guess and use what we call synthetic division. So let's say that possible factors you might be looking for would be x minus 1, or x plus 1, or, and I should put commas in there, or maybe x minus 2, and so forth. So you may want to do a little bit trial and error to see if one of the easy factors pops out that makes it easier to factor. So I'm going to go with my first one, x minus 1, so I'll use synthetic division to see if that's one of the factors. So trying that, I uh, write the coefficients down, so I have a 1, a 4, a 1, and a minus 6, and then go like this and put in the, the uh, factor. So if x minus 1 is one of the factors, I will use the 1 for x, so 1 minus 1 is 0, and then we drop down the 1 over here. I go 1 times 1 is 1. I add them together, I get 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Add them together, I get 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Add it together, I get 0. Bingo! Right off the start, I found one of the factors is x equal to 1. So x equals 1 is one of the factors, which means I can take this denominator and rewrite it as follows. So x cubed uh, plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 can be rewritten as x minus 1 times the remainder. So what is the remainder? Well, the remainder is found right here. The remainder would be uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, can we factor this one, since it's only a quadratic equation or a quadratic uh, factor? And the answer is yes. We can write this as x minus 1 times... Okay, so it's x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. Because when you add them together, you get 5. When you multiply, you get 6. So there's the, there's the denominator in factored form, which means you can now write this equation right here. Write as follows. You can write as 2x plus 13x minus 5 divided by the three factors, which are x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3. And now you're going to use the technique of partial fractions on this portion right here. Notice it's three linear factors, so this can now be written as, as 2x plus the three fractions, which would be a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 2 plus c over x plus 3, and then you go ahead and find a, b, and c to come up with those three fractions, added that to 2x, and then you can integrate four separate uh, terms instead of trying to integrate this one by itself, which I think that would be fairly impossible to try and do that. So that would be the way in which you do that. So in this case, it's an example of long division. If the exponent numerator is larger than the exponent denominator, you go ahead and do a division first. You factor something out. In this case, you have the 2x with the remainder. And then in this case, you want to factor your denominator, 
find the factors. Once you find the factors in the denominator, like so, then you use the technique of partial fractions to find the constants that allow you to then integrate it in a much easier way. So that's how you do that.